Battery prices will keep dropping, and they're going to keep dropping faster than forecast. This is a graph with a bunch of forecasted battery prices. And the top one, by the way, the yellow line, is the US Department of Energy. Now, if you take the median of these, you get to an expectation of about 3x drop in battery price over about a five-year period. But what's actually happened is that Tesla produced about a 5x decline in battery prices in just five years. In fact, we'll see this trend over and over again, that official forecasters simply can't see how fast the change is happening. And in fact, if you look at the pace at which solar improved with scale, that's the green triangles here, that's the learning curve of solar, it's exponential decline in cost as volume grows. And you look at the rate at which batteries improve, those are the blue diamonds, they're basically identical. So batteries are basically where solar was 15 years ago, and they're going to follow a similar price slope down. They're about to plunge in price and open up lots of new applications. And in fact, it's not just lithium ion. There's actually dozens of other energy storage technologies that are following on lithium ion's heels. And this year is a breakout year for the deployment of these technologies. One of my favorite is this technology. It's called a flow battery. Uh, it's much larger and heavier than the lithium ion battery in your phone or your laptop. Uh, but a lithium-ion battery might last for 1,000 charge dis dis discharge cycles. This lasts for five or 10,000 cycles. So the long-term cost is much lower. This is just one of many technologies that are coming down the, the pipe. So all of this leads to a crazy idea. If you take these mathematical trends in the declining cost of clean energy seriously, and you extrapolate the trend out, it suggests that at some point, this will be the cheapest energy. That instead of relying on the fluctuating price of energy we extract, we are coupling the cost of energy to the ever-declining cost of technology. This is a radical idea. We've all known for a long time that if you want to go clean, it's going to cost more. But now it looks like that's not true. That technology that produces energy will make energy cheaper. As you sell more electric vehicles, you have more demand for batteries. As you have higher scale of the battery industry, the prices drop. That means that electric vehicles will get cheaper, which will boost their sales, which will then drive battery prices down, and so on. And I'm going to tell you something even crazier. There's every reason to believe that electric vehicles will be the world's cheapest vehicles. Because this is the drivetrain and engine of an electric vehicle. It has 90% fewer moving parts than an uh, internal combustion engine vehicle. They're more expensive now because they're new, but then they're at a tiny scale. But once they're at a scale anywhere near, they will be markedly cheaper than the competition. In fact, if you take their learning curve, about a 16% drop in price per doubling of volume, and you compare it to that average US car price, the Camry, and the cheapest car sold in the US new, which is a two-seater smart car, and then you draw out volume, if they grow at half the rate they're growing now, if they grow at 30% annually and not 60, then by 2030, they are not just way cheaper than a Camry, they are cheaper than that two-seater smart car for a much, much better vehicle. 